Like I said, I've used it for years. My clients love the fact that I could see behind the walls, so sort of, to sort of speak. I've I seen the hot wires behind the panel one time, and it was actually wires arcing. It should have caught on fire before I even got there, but it, it probably would have caught on fire at some point. So thermal imaging is an awesome product, an awesome uh, thing to use. Just be careful uh, when you have a thermal imaging guy come out or somebody does some thermal imaging. It's not always accurate. And I want to show you the difference in what thermal imaging does. Hey guys, Kevin Jarday here. I'm going to try to videotape this myself. Since my son's not here or anybody else, I'm not, no, my people working for me is here. So I, want to, I, I got a YouTube video that I'm getting put up. It's about air quality testing from uh, mold people or from anybody else that does any kind of air, air quality testing. You definitely need to check that video out because it is extremely important information if you have this issue because it can teach you how not to get scammed. Okay, so I want to show you the same guy did a, did a uh, thermal imaging and I want to show you the difference in what thermal imaging does. All right, with this thermal imaging, if you see this right here, here and you got one spot here. Okay, it should, looks looks like it's soaking wet. Okay, and this is this is wet here. Okay, down through here, this actually wasn't wet. I went ahead and waterproofed it anyway, um, just simply because I'm already in here and I might as well just hit it. I want to show you the difference what that spot was. All right, so this little spot here was that spot that was like this big on that on that on that camera in that image. And then right here with this hole, this is what they used to do back in the old days. They used to just bust a hole in the wall and put the metal outlet back there and it rusted real bad and had a lot of issues. Um, obviously, that's not a good thing. And you should never nail your, your studs to the walls either. But that imaging, on well, the thermal part of it, the imaging, the, this, this air back here, I can feel a difference. It's colder back here than it is right here. Okay, so therefore it's going to show you a false negative on on your thermal. So it tells you that there's moisture back there when it's really not moisture. The other thing people do a lot of times, and, and, and thermal cameras do, um, and don't get me wrong, thermal cameras, thermal imaging, thermal imaging is a great thing to do. Okay, like I said, I've used it for years. My clients, I've, I've, I've always loved the fact that I could see behind walls, sort of, sort of speak. But there's been several times that I've been I've been wrong because there was actually moisture behind there and I couldn't see it. I'll tell you why. A contractor, sometimes they put plastic, six mil plastic, and they put two layers of six mil plastic, you definitely can't see it. It blocks the image of the thermal camera so where you can't really get a good image of it and you can't you can't tell anything's going on. Now, some of the contractors put it to the studs up and they nail them to the block which you shouldn't, and then they put then they nail the plastic to this and then they put the sheetrock over that. That's a, a recipe for disaster because moisture gets in here, it rots this out, it, it, it uh, causes a bunch of mold issues. Just it's just never a good good deal. Sometimes they put it behind the plastic, behind the uh, the uh, wood. And you know it's not necessarily a bad idea to do that. Um, to use that pla to do it plastic like that. You know it's it's all relative. I mean everybody there's all kinds of ways of doing things and building and it's like that. You no know, one builder's better is greater. It's his way of greater than the other guys. Sometimes there's a great big difference, but um, over the years you learn as you go through. But with this situation, uh, when well, I'm talking about thermal, as far as thermal imaging is concerned, just be careful uh, when you have a thermal imaging guy come out or somebody does some thermal imaging. It's not always accurate. Um, it's a great product. I love it. Okay, I've seen I've, I've seen hot wires behind a, a hot spot behind a uh, paneling or a uh, yeah paneling one time, and it was actually wires arcing. All right. It should have caught on fire before I even got there, but it, 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 it probably would have caught on fire at some point. So thermal, cam thermal imaging is an awesome product, an awesome uh, thing to use, but it's not always accurate. So just because you have somebody with a thermal camera, they really didn't have the education, they didn't have the experience, and you know sometimes you've got to poke a little hole, and they got those old cameras that you can go up in behind there. They sell them Home Depot and Lowe's, you know, homeowners can get them nowadays. But you stick them in there, and you can see behind the walls. You can snake it up and look at, look at what you got to look at. Very good idea, very cheap investment. Um, so anybody who has a thermal camera should have that along with their moisture detectors um, in, in other ways too. So if this video is helpful to you, please like and share. Go to my YouTube, Facebook, and uh, um, subscribe to it, please. I'm a tech tard, so I'm not sure all the technical words for all that, but I'm sure you probably do. Thank you, Kevin Jarday with Instagram. Hey, I want to let you guys know that I'm here to help you guys in any way you need. Uh, you have a foundation issue, you have you found uh, cracks, if you think you have foundation issues because you have cracks inside your house, uh, door, door jams, you know, and your ceilings are, are sagging, your floors are sagging, you got some soft spots, foundation wise, we're here to help you. If you have water issues in your crawl space or in your basement, you go downstairs and all of a sudden you're walking in water, 
We take care of that as well. There's lots of solutions for that. Not all of them are the same. We have a lot of different solutions that most companies do not have. Most of them have one solution. We have multiple solutions. So we'd be happy to come in and evaluate it. You'll feel more educated. So if you have any questions, give us a call below. Click on the link below and like us, and I'd appreciate it. Kevin Jardet with Instant Drive.